Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix spalled concrete. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. We're here today to fix some spalling on this concrete patio. This is caused by freeze and thaw. Probably use some de-icing salt on it too. It's on that end. The middle's not too bad. And then we got some more on this end. We're using Hard X C D concrete dressing today. Well, let's get going. Okay, we're going to prepare this today by grinding it, dry grinding it. I got a, my diamond grinder there with a, with a vacuum. This will clean off all the loose concrete, the dirt. So it'll, get, it'll get it prepared for the concrete dressing. All right, guys, like I said, we got to get all that loose concrete off. The prep work is one of the most important parts of doing concrete repair. So we got to get this concrete back down to sound concrete and then we can put the repair to it. And sometimes the easiest way to get that spalled concrete off is just to lightly grind it. That'll remove all that loose stuff and it'll get us back down to a good concrete base. Now this concrete wasn't very old. It was only about a year old and uh, they really put the salt to it to, to melt some ice and snow that got on it in the last winter. And you can see the damage it did. So it probably wasn't properly sealed in the first place. So they called us in to, to repair it and put another nice broom finish on it. So as you can see, I'm grinding that concrete. I got a seven inch grinder there with a diamond cup wheel on it. And I got it hooked up to my vacuum so it doesn't make too much of a mess. Got my knee pads on, got my mask on, got my hearing protection on, my glasses on. You know, you're going to want all that stuff if you use a hand grinder, guys. Now, it doesn't take very long to get this ground, really. This probably took me a total of, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes to grind this thing. You just slowly go back and forth. Nice and easy. You don't want to, you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to dig in. As you can see, I got the video sped up here, so you don't have to watch me for the whole 20 minutes. But the key is to get this ground and clean before you start your repair. So I'll get I'll grind this as you can see, and then I'll I'll put the vacuum to it and I'll vacuum it clean. And then I can get going with that Artex CD dressing. If you don't have a grinder like this, guys, you can rent one. Most rental stores or even Home Depots have this set up. It's not very expensive, but it's effective. All right, we're getting ready to mix up the Artex, Artex CD dressing. We're gonna trial this on. Got my trial there, and I'm gonna broom it immediately after. It takes five quarts of water per, per bag, so let's mix her up. All right, so we're gonna put the water in the bucket first. Always put the water in first. And then you dump in your dry material, probably about half the bag, get that mixed in, then dump in the rest of the bag. There's gonna be plenty of material in this one bag to do this size patio. You know, it's gonna take probably two or three minutes to get it mixed up. It's gonna look like pancake batter when you're done. Nice, smooth, easy consistency. Pretty easy to trial. Have some on. I'm going to trial it in really tight. As you can see, you just dump it on the dry concrete 
and you're going to work, want to work in sections. So I'm going to do that first section you see up to that groove line. Trowel it in, pressing down pretty hard. You want to push it down into the pores of the concrete. And when I say trowel it down tight, I mean I'm, I'm just troweling down about, you know, a sixteenth of an inch of that stuff, maybe a little bit more. But I don't want to leave a bunch of it on the surface. Just enough so I can get a good broom finish. And it, I mean, it does dry pretty quick. You're not going to want, you're going to want to, you know, get it down as quick as you can, but you're going to want to put it down really nice and even. As soon as we get it trowled on, we're going to broom it right after. Ready to do your next square, you can retemper the material, but don't have more water. Once you get that first section done, guys, you just go on to your next section. Uh, hey, hey, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit the like button. And while you're down there, hit subscribe with a little bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I put out a new video. And I'll have links down in the description to where you can get these products. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done, guys. Looks going to look like a brand new patio. Nice broom finish on it. You can see those spalled sections are all gone. It looks like brand new. Again, this is what it looked like before. Pretty rough. And this is what it looks like now. Hey guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.